Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokonaman at YouTube with a, another model video. Before we get into this, uh, the last few times I've done small German light armor. Um, the box art or my assessment's been inaccurate in its name. Not an expert in the field, much prefer uh, other periods and interwar light armor of other countries. I did try my best. Uh, this is uh, the Fujimi boxing of what they depict is a, a Panzer I Ost B. If it is or not the case, um, it's the model that I happen to be building right now. Now, the kit was uh, picked up from a collection of uh, models I bought from an estate and uh, it might have been built around uh, the 70s and you can see that there's uh, paint on the runners how they uh, used to paint and assemble the model. Now, because of this, I am not able to sell the model or cannot make a lot of model money out of it, but it's something that I did want to build. And it's interesting enough to show off that uh, it was painted with enamels. They would paint the runners with a brush, put on the decals, the details, chop them out, glue them together, and then fill the nub marks with paint which is a very effective uh, method back then and uh, some of the very talented uh, competition and magazine modelers produced some really nice work using these methods and there was other ways of hiding the seams and working around it. Uh, some of the dioramas are also stellar with uh, the very little materials they had available back then. Now a generation or two before the current time and era of modeling You'll find model kits in dedicated hobby shops that also did uh, kites, uh, balsa wood planes and other things such as trains, though models were widely found in supermarkets, toy shops, news agencies, everywhere. They tend to be a lot cheaper, made in much larger quantities, but you'll only get one or two runners. Um, they were not too fuzzed about uh, accuracy parts counts or um, how it went together or where imperfections were. You'd slobber on some enamel paint, it will take a day to build. It was a lot of fun. I was building uh, models at the tail end of that generation, still enjoy it now, and I like to have a go at some of these vintage kits as well as these older armour and sort of relive what it was like when I was about 14, 15, 16 building a second hand kit from a decade earlier with friends. Fujimi is one of the earlier model manufacturers and a model manufacturer that were one that started out in uh, Japan. They uh, tend to be a big name then and still is uh, to this day. The kit is very simplistic with uh, two runners. You get two kits, uh, the field gun and the tank. I've only built the tank, a couple of miniatures. So generally for the very little it retailed, there was a lot of bang for your buck few water slide decals and these detailed instructions showing you historical color schemes, different versions of the model, a bit of history, a write-up, uh, instructions of how to put it together. Now normally these kits also come with a tiny tube of glue. It is not known if this was equipped with this kit or not as the original model it could have removed it or worse used it. Now surprisingly building some Eastern European model kits of late released of very obscure subjects. I feel that Fujimi has had the assembly, road wheels and detail right. It snaps together really well with glue, definitely glue required, but uh, there's nothing that's ill-fitting and the actual base of the hull and the turret holds itself together without disintegrating. The road wheels suspension is not in a billion parts. The rubber tracks were tricky to work with, though age could have uh, stiffened them and made them uh, brittle and hard to work with. I am aware I've got the uh, crossbar across the wheel section upside down way too late during the work in progress. I like the extra bits and pieces you can glue around the hull such as uh, picks and um, tank tracks. Generally, I think Fujimi got it absolutely right. Very enjoyable build. It is my first one of this uh, age and scale. I definitely would like to try to get my hands on uh, more of them. I do believe I have a few in the stash of uh, much more obscure and rarer subjects. They will definitely come to the forefront of this channel. All in all, 
very good experience. Detail wise, not as acceptable or close as today's armor, though it does look pretty good, better than a toy. After assembly, realistically I don't see anything that needs to be fixed seam line wise, so we can jump straight into priming, hit it with Tamiya primer, then we went down the scale of uh, SMS paints, hull red, uh, German grey and lightened it up with uh, field blue having a go at some of these new military colours that uh, the line is definitely pumping out applied very very nicely I must say the decals were rat shit I did not put any effort in trying to rescue them maybe a few coats of clear might might have made them work though they just disintegrated in uh, water though they were able to lift and get some sort of movement so there is a bit of um, adhesion left over all the details were hand painted with uh, lacquers such as the tank tracks in an iron color the wood boxes tools machine guns in gunmetal gray i cracked out some chinese nationalist aftermarket decals i had kicking around or Taiwanese markings. The Chinese did use uh, some Panzer 1s and Panzer 2s allegedly, so if it's not too accurate, may as well go for a not so accurate scheme. Plus those on, a bit of a wet uh, top coat to gloss it in, make it seal. Bit of a um, matte coat by SMS, followed by a panel or sludge wash with uh, SMS black wash and that uh, sort of made all the detail pop and jump out and uh, look a little more better fill in those seam lines or not seam lines but panel lines the finish definitely came out more on the average side of things though nonetheless a finished model is a finished model it was a two-day effort had a lot of fun and it uh, popped out as uh, best as I could have hoped for to throw into the collection. Definitely in a more unusual marking scheme. Uh, it is a shame that uh, the decals did not take on to the surface and the finish as well as I hoped for. But it's the first time I've uh, definitely used this line or brand. We'll see on a second attempt of a cheaper subject or model. The experience with Fujimi was excellent, really liked the detail, the proportions, the look, the way it built, uh, definitely how scarce it is and hard to find and when you build it and show it off and present it, I'm able to share something that's just not that common out there anymore or a bit harder to find. There are other manufacturers of this particular kit and model that you can buy by um, S model and more updated uh, variants. It's far more detail and accurate. But um, I think with the amount of Panzer ones I have, I'm just going to go out and get as many as I humanly can of all uh, scales, shapes and sizes. Definitely had fun. Definitely highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. Check out Facebook for uh, work in progresses and other goods. And uh, look around for more um, videos made by me in the playlist. Catch you guys later.